What's up, brownies, ponies, ghosts, and fuzzies, and other creatures? My name is Travis Manulus, and today we're gonna make another PCR about what is, in my opinion, the most underrated coaster that at least I have ridden, which is Vigaden at Summerland Shillen. I love this coaster probably more than anyone else that I know of, at least. So let's just jump right into the video. So, Vilkaden is a Pinfari Cyclone, a 42 version, and opened in the year of 2000, with a height of 11 meters and a length of 365 meters, with one inversion which is a loop, and then there's the speed. I can't find this anywhere. Northern guest on 60, but none of us really know. So, um, yeah. So, in my opinion, the best seat is the back row, and I think many people would agree, mostly because of the top, which I will get into later. Because, uh, before I go to the layout, I really want to talk about something. Um, I think many people forget sometimes the difference between rough and janky. Which I think is wrong because those are two different things. Rough is mostly something that makes the train rattle like hell. Where Janky is just bad tracking. Which, in this case of Vilkaden, I don't think this is rough at all actually. This is not a rough coaster. It's not the smoothest I've done, but it is pretty smooth. But it's though, it's very janky though. Which is not the same thing. I actually rode very defensively the first round, round uh, around it. I had my shoulder stick into the over the shoulder restraints, which was a very bad idea because that hurt like hell, and my shoulders hurt the entire day. So just just a quick fact: just don't do that and just let it slip. And the, everything is just better if you do that. But with that said, let's just go into the layout. So, you start off with this little turn out of the station up to the lift door. The lift door is kinda slow, but it's alright. It just leads to anticipation to the drop. Then you get this little turnaround, which actually gives great uh, view over Summerland Shelland, or the Danish landscape, I guess, because it's, it's not really that way the theme park is. Then you get to the drop and holy shit a drop this drop gives maybe even straight up ejector airtime if you sit in the back row and it gives some very funny sensation in the front row and i think it's absolutely amazing then you go into the bottom of the drop which also i think i want to talk about the bottom of the drop is one of the most forceful things i've said it's almost as good as the norwegian loop on Helix, in my opinion. I think it's amazing. So then you go up to this hill. It doesn't do really much. It's a pretty janky, but oh, it's all right. And then you get to this turn, which doesn't do a whole lot either. And then you go into the loop. This is a very forceful loop. And I really love this loop. I think this is the best loop that I have done, even though it's not really that hard because I, I have only tried three which is this one, the one on Vilsvinu and Demon. It's not really a fair fight. And then you go up to this here. This is the worst of the janky moments. You can't actually bang your neck on the hard restraints that is there, which sucks, but you need to take that with you. You get this very weak turn, and then you get into the helix, which is another very great and forceful moment part of the ride. And then you go into a small hill with a break on top. I think it gives, I, I can't really remember it, but I think it gives a very small half of very weak floater uh, on the ascent of the in front row and on the descent in the back row. Yeah, yeah. Then you go into another very forceful turn. And then you go into probably other than the janky ascent that we went through earlier. And this is probably the turn or the thing that's gonna be most likely to get your head banging. This neck banged me a few times even, even before, even 
in with my shoulder sticking into the show, uh, restraints, it still neck banged me. It's very forceful laterals, so that's probably why. And you have a very last weak turn that doesn't really do much. And you go into the brake run and you're right, it's done. This layout is actually amazing. There are some janky moments that would be better if it maybe had a lap bar or something. But even though I don't really see them change the car of this. But yeah, there is one thing I want to talk about though. The one bad thing. There is one bad thing on this, and that is how it looks. I mean, Fire Cyclone looks alright in general, but not very good. But I don't know what someone in did, but this just looks awful. And it was mostly something to do with when I was there. This had two different colors on the track. There are some parts that were red, but most of it were black. I don't know why. Just looked very weird. Trains looked all right, but yeah, it don't have two colors on the track. I mean, they were about to repaint it, but then just stopped because it had like that red thing still. Yeah, I don't know. It just looked weird to me. But yeah, that was everything for this video. Hope you liked it. And of course, go out and ride Vilkaden if you get the chance. Because I really love this ride. And maybe you don't, but I'm still gonna keep it. It's my, one of the most underrated coasters in the world. Yeah, if you liked it, then please leave it a like. And if you want to see more coaster and pony content, then hit the subscribe button. And of course, Leave the bell on to get notified when I upload a new video. But with that said, there's nothing more to say than Brohoof. See ya.